tell me everything. No. Come on, Donna, we're supposed to be friends. Aren't we friends? Well, yeah. Okay, then. So, what it look like? <laughs> Jackie. Okay, we'll come back to that one. <laughs> Foreman, I've been thinking about your problem with Donna. And after hours of serious consideration, it still makes me laugh. <laughs> hey, you leave Eric alone, all right? He's our friend, and he needs our help. And this is most desperate hour. I'm with you, buddy. Semper Fi. <laughs> Gee, Kelso, why the sudden change of heart? Oh. Maybe it's because the Apollo rocket of love blew up all over the launch pad? mystery. When suitable for Scooby-Doo and his gang of cartoon teenagers. You know, guys, sometimes I wish we were cartoon teenagers. Zoinks. That'd be super fizz. Look. If God had meant for virgins to lose it to other virgins, he wouldn't have given us middle-aged hookers, man. Amen, brother. Because if there's one thing men like us know, it's how to have sex. <laughs> oh, I cannot live with this lie. <laughs> Everyone prepare to be shocked. I fess. I'm still a virgin. Gosh, my world no longer makes sense. Fine, fine, but now that the middle-aged sugar ship has sailed, what am I supposed to do? Well, I know I got a lot better when I started making it with your sister. I got it! You should make it with my sister. Kelso, man, I've seen your sister. She's a virgin, and she's gonna be for a long time. All right, what are you saying? Well, I think he's saying, moo. OK, maybe you did not hear me. Fess, the man you all revere has still not had sex. Yeah, I heard you the first time. Foreman? You've got to figure out what you're doing wrong, man, and fast. You know what women call guys who are lame in the sack? Just friends. <laughs> yeah, but you can't let the pressure get to you. I mean, don't think about how embarrassing it'd be if you tried and you couldn't. How she'd stare at you with those cruel black eyes, as if to say, You're not really a man, Michael. You're not a man at all! <laughs> okay. Well, this has been really helpful, guys. All right, you called my bluff. I am not really a virgin. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> but, Eric, we did it, and now everything's a mess. See, Donna, everything you and I do is a mess. At first, I mean, face it, we're just... A couple of goons here. <laughs> the first time we kissed, the first time we went out. First time I'll let you get to second. Exactly. Wait, what did I do wrong then? <laughs> God, it was like you were tuning a radio. <laughs> hey, Mom, any more fried chicken? Well, my goodness, you're a hungry little bee. Well, Foreman, what you been doing? <laughs> Exercising? In a manner of speaking. Hey, I'm too smart for you two idiots to try innuendo with me. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you get that, big boy? All right. Tell me everything. No. Come on, Donna, we're supposed to be friends. Aren't we friends? Well, yeah. Okay, then. So, what it look like? <laughs> Jackie. Okay, we'll come back to that one. <laughs> Foreman, I've been thinking about your problem with Donna. After hours of serious consideration, it still makes me laugh. 
Hey, you leave Eric alone, all right? He's our friend, and he needs our help. And this is most desperate hour. I'm with you, buddy. Semper Fi. Gee, Kelso, why the sudden change of heart? Oh, maybe it's because the Apollo rocket of love blew up all over the launch pad? You forgot a mystery. One suitable for Scooby-Doo and his gang of cartoon teenagers. You know, guys, sometimes I wish we were cartoon teenagers. Zoinks.